Question 19 says there are 40 tourists at Salvo's cafe. They all order either a hot chocolate or a panini or both. Salvo takes 27 orders for a hot chocolate and 30 orders for a panini. How many tourists ordered a panini but not a hot chocolate? It's really important here that we know that everyone orders something because there are 27 plus 30 or 57 orders for some things in total. But there's only 40 customers and they all order either one or two things because they all order at least one thing. If the 40 customers all just ordered one thing, there would be 40 orders, but we've got 57 orders. So there's an extra 57 minus 40 or 17 orders. And that must mean that there are 17 people who've ordered two things. Hey, they've ordered both a panini and a hot chocolate. So if we look at the number of hot chocolate uh, orders and panini orders, we're interested in paninis here. So there were 30 orders for a panini in total. 17 people ordered both. Uh, so 17 of those people also ordered a hot chocolate. 30 minus 17 or 13 must have ordered just the panini. And the answer here is B13. Now you could uh, write this with a Venn diagram if you want to, but it's not really needed here. I'll just show you the diagram because it's quite a common way of representing this information. We'd put paninis and hot chocolates in the circles here. Uh, there'd be 17 that ordered both. 13 that just ordered a panini then, and that would leave 10 that ordered just a hot chocolate. And we can see all the information here. And there's nothing outside this Venn diagram. Uh, sometimes we put a box around this and then say uh, how many people ordered neither, but everyone ordered something here. Uh, so that's a topic you might want to look at and can be useful for harder problems like this.